Deadpool won't be breaking the fourth wall on his lonesome when his standalone film sequel comes out in May. The Merc with a Mouth will be joined by members of the X-Force, which will be getting its own movie in the near future. As long as Dark Phoenix doesn't wipe us all out. Here's the X-Force in two minutes, or less. The X-Force were created by Rob Liefeld in 1991's final issue of New Mutants, which was then relaunched as a comic starring the reimagined team with the help of Fabian Nicesa. X-Force number one remains the second highest selling comic of all time, mostly thanks to Liefeld's iconic maximalism and violent themes. This was about as extreme as the 90s got. Helping solidify what the 90s looked like for superheroes, their series enrolled the young mutants of the original book in military training under the leadership of Cable. They fought terrorists with a much harder edge than their previous iteration. That raised Cable up to unprecedented levels of comic importance especially since their first main nemesis Strife was his clone. The time-traveling super soldier son of Cyclops was joined multiple times by Deadpool as a villain. This made the latter so popular he spun off into his own standalone series. That's right, Deadpool was a bad guy that wasn't on the X-Force until 2010's Uncanny X-Force. Crewed by a more unsavory lot than the X-Men that doesn't have scruples about killing, the X-Force racked up bodies while addressing problems other groups ignored. As they beat up the externals and the Mutant Liberation Front, everything was looking up for the team until Liefeld left the comic and Marvel to form Image Comics in 1992. This was a massive hit to the book's popularity and identity, which spent the rest of the decade figuring out how to make the team work. Yet the X-Force still wasn't quite nailed down. The members operated as a dysfunctional family, but under many different circumstances. At different points, they were a nomadic group of do-gooders, an almost satirical group of wannabe pop stars who became a team known as the X-Statics, and a super serious team of super assassins. Their rotating roster didn't help the situation. The ones you might want to know for the movie are co-founder Domino, a luck-manipulating killer, and Bedlam, who can screw up electric fields. Weirdness became the group's selling point, however, as they continued doing Black Ops missions with an eccentric team that could push the borders of X-Men storytelling. The X-Force comic books petered out just a few years ago, but that means their upcoming film could be about any number of missions after the team helps Deadpool deal with his cable situation, which you should now realize is a total 180 from how the team worked in the comics. Did we do it? Or were we uh, disbanded and cast away to a spin-off? The various forms of X-Force are some of the hardest to track in X-Men's extensive history, but now you're a bit more ready for combat when the team makes its cinematic debut in Deadpool 2 on May 18, 2018.